Hey, what's up YouTube? What's going on? Back here with a new video today. And in today's new video, what I'm going to be talking about is how often should you be performing core stability exercises or low back exercises throughout the week? So what should the frequency be like or look like? So firstly, it's going to depend on each individual and every individual is going to be different. And some people may respond to performing daily. Some people may respond to performing every other day. Some people may respond to performing three, four times a week, or some people may not be even at that stage where they should be perform performing core stability exercise because maybe they're in so much pain or whatnot that that's just not that stage of progression where they should be performing those types of exercises for them because it may trigger their pain. So really it is kind of case dependent and dependent on the situation. Everyone's situation is gonna be di different. But with that being said, in contrast to popular belief, which is people should be performing core stability or low back exercises every other day or maybe three times a week, that is kind of not necessarily true. And there's actually research to support performing core stability exercises or low back exercises on a daily basis. And so the kind of belief behind that or kind of the premise behind that is when you're performing course a few core stability exercises let's just say for example maybe you have a mcgill crunch a side plank regression and maybe a bird dog maybe a glute bridge so maybe those are your three four exercises that you're performing daily so when you perform those and let's say you just perform maybe one set they may carry over a residual stiffness with you so they may provide some more added stability or stiffness to the spine throughout the day when you perform those and so to share with you guys what i currently implement for myself, but also for clients of mine is, I will always perform three to four or three to five core stability exercises before I begin my workout. And I always prioritize the core and just because I have a history of lower back pain, have a history of lower back injuries and my herniated discs still exist, I find performing these stability exercises prior to my workout is always helpful. But at the same time, I also use this with my clients in terms of I will have them perform uh, core stability exercises on a daily basis if they're at that stage where maybe they're performing or I have a uh, a training program for them that is more kind of basic and they're not at that stage where they can go to a high performance program yet I'll have them perform maybe three to maybe six exercises just on a daily basis of one to two sets and maybe I'll have them mix up those sets maybe they have them perform maybe uh, five or six of those exercises of one set maybe they do it in the early afternoon and then they do an additional set maybe later in the, in the day just to kind of get that add, added activation maybe that added residual stiffness that can carry over and that's kind of the premise behind it that I use and I've actually gotten results with some of my clients which is uh, really encouraging to see but at the same time another thing to consider too is that I also will use these as activation routines, like I mentioned for myself, but also with my clients if I'm doing a high performance program as well, just to kind of get those muscles activated, to get individuals thinking about what's, what muscles they need to use when maybe performing a lift such as a squat or a deadlift for that matter. So they can think about activating the proper muscles and maintaining that stiffness, that good stiffness that we want and that is required for those types of lifts that require a lot of loading and compression, especially if we are loading up specifically. Now, I just wanted to share that with you guys because it seems that when it comes to frequency, performing daily seems to be the way to go and that's if you can handle performing them daily. Now keep in mind, exercise should never be done in pain. That'd be your first indication that things need to be regressed or the program needs to be changed in some sort of manner. But really it's gonna come down to how you respond to them. And at the same time, another thing to consider is we're building muscular endurance here. We're not building muscular hypertrophy or strength per se. That's not the focus, rather it's muscular endurance. And so performing these stability exercises is what is going to build that muscular endurance. And in terms of preventing a future lower back injury from occurring. So that's kind of the key focus there. Now, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I hope you guys were able to kind of take something away from this video and learn something. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them below. And for that being, with all that being said, uh, I'm going to wrap this video up and wish you guys all the best and a successful and productive day. Take care.